Right now, the FAA has banned U.S. flights to Haiti after three planes came under fire in Port-au-Prince. And one of those flights came from South Florida, as more than 80% of Haiti's capital city is controlled by violent gangs. Local 10's Terrell Prenet, live now at Miami International Airport with the latest on this one. Terrell. And we are talking about the busiest airport in Haiti. So many daily direct connections between there and South Florida. But tonight, the federal government is stepping in, saying that that route has become just too dangerous to operate for now. An American Airlines plane has been taken out of service as maintenance crews assess the damage from a bullet hole. <laughs> the aircraft was hit Monday but went undetected as that plane departed Haiti bound for Miami, making additional stops to St. Croix and Washington, D.C. before returning to MIA. A spokesperson for American says there was no indication of an issue with the aircraft out of Port-au-Prince. However, an inspection this morning revealed a small hole in the exterior of the aircraft. The discovery comes amid escalating gun violence on the island nation where cameras spotted people running from gunfire and heavily armed police trying to fight back. American Air is now the third major carrier to have its planes hit by gunfire. Several bullets hit a Spirit Airlines plane Monday as that flight attempted to land in Port-au-Prince. A flight attendant was injured and the plane made an unscheduled landing in the Dominican Republic before the passengers returned to Fort Lauderdale. I heard clock, 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 you know, three times. That same day, a New York-bound JetBlue plane fresh off the ground from Haiti also was hit by gunfire. The FAA has now banned all flights to Haiti for at least 30 days. The State Department now monitoring the situation closely. We uh, are squarely focused on continuing to do everything we can to support and address uh, the insecurity crisis in Haiti. So the airport there in Port-au-Prince closed for the next week, but again, the FAA not allowing any flights from the U.S. to land there uh, for the next 30 days or so. But we know that American Airlines, they are taking things a step further. They have canceled all operations in Port-au-Prince uh, until at least February. We are live in Miami. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.